Hey everybody, Dom here, and today I'm going to show you guys how I record Team Fortress 2 footage. Because as you may or may not know by watching some of my videos, I do some crazy things. Things that like are different in particular from other streamers and Team Fortress 2 viewer makers, viewer makers? No, video makers of Team Fortress 2 videos. First steps first, and by the way, the t t I guess as you could say this is a tutorial of sorts, a guide I suppose. First steps first, all tab, go here. Turn off friends list so it doesn't appear in the bottom right. You may or may have not saw, seen that happen momentarily moments ago. Regardless, moving on. So now that that's out of the way, make sure Team Fortress 2 set the highest settings possible that your computer could support, I suppose. As long as you get, let's say if you're recording in 30 frames per second, you could get a, a steady 30 frames per second recording, you know? If, you're, if your computer is better and you can record it and you intend to record at 60 frames per second and can, then try for that. Just, you know, for me, this computer is awesome. Thanks, by the way, you guys paid for my, my graphics card. And I'm able to record 60 frames per second all maxed out on all the settings, everything, as well as some other settings, you know, that are, um, could only really be inputted through console commands and like configurations and stuff. But forget about that. So let's just run through quickly how to like record some footage. Pretend, assume, I'm, I'm assuming you already have a program that records footage. Forget about that. We're not going through that. We're not doing. This is not that type of tutorial. Not type. Of, not that type of guide. I'm just going to explain how I get the in-game footage. If that makes any sense. Hmm. So first step first, just load up a map. Uh, pff, payload. Um, um uh, banana bay, I suppose. No, payload race banana bay. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go there. Load up in quickly, and uh, I'll show you some of my techniques I use. Makes sense. Makes sense. Loading, loading, loading. We're loading, loading, loading. Load. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, Illuminati. Forget about that, though. Forget about that. First steps first, do nothing of interest. So here we're on the map. Oh, crap. It's doing that buggy thing. Ah, oh, Team Fortress 2. Why you gotta be like this? You know, they even put a patch note saying that they fixed, like, this, this weird sort of thing in this map in particular. It also appears on, like, Monster Rock. I guess we'll just sort of ignore this, this these pillars of whiteness that appear on screen. Alright, forget about that. That doesn't exist. Pretend. Pretend. So first step, uh, we just join Spectator pretty straightforward. CL, draw HUD, uh, set to zero. So, okay, I don't have SP cheats on. SP cheats on. Okay. CL, draw HUD, blah, 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 zero. So now there's no HUD on screen, which looks phenomenally better. It looks way better. It looks way more professional if you record like this with no HUD on. Uh, second step, lower the, lower, this, this may seem counterintuitive, but actually lower the field of view to minimum. Now, I'm going to explain in a moment why. So, ffav underscore desired 75. As you see, it changed from that to that. I'll switch back to 90 quickly. Like that, and that. On some maps, if, if this doesn't occur, go and and switch to um, red or blue team, and then while you're a player model, while you're there, then switch the, then switch the field of view, and then go back to spectator. The reason being is that some maps, like the spectator cameras have a set, have a set field of view, you know, these, these spectator cameras, right? And it messes up with your regular field of view, and it like overrides it, so you'll be at set at like 90 or something while flying around. So anyways, the reason why I set to 75 just, is because it looks nicer when it, when it comes to like um, YouTube videos and stuff like that. If you're actually recording in, in first person, da -da -da -da. sorry, I've jumped ahead a little bit. In third person, it looks nicer. In first person, you want you want the game to look like regular Team Fortress 2, then switch to 90. It makes more sense. Like, but when it comes to like panning shots and stuff like that from far away, 75 is the way to go. So all right, so here we are, Team Fortress 2. Let's say I want to get I don't know uh, a nice shot over here. This like just you know go in this direction, doing whatever. Makes sense. Well, go and um, <coughs> excuse me, use some more console command magic wizardry to do things. Um. Set, oops, set angle, set ang for short, zero, zero, zero. This sets my angle to zero, zero, zero. This is incorrect. We'll try 90. I mean, whoops, that was the wrong one. I mean, we'll try 90 for the second one. All right, so now I'm facing 90 here. 90 plus 45 is, uh, <laughs> math in the middle of video. Darn you, brain, work properly for a moment. Um, 35, so 135, yes, that makes more sense. 135, alright. So here we are. We're at the perfect, completely perfect angle. So if I go, if I were to click A and double, A and W? Like, you know, front and left, I'd go like this, right? If I click SD, I'd go backwards. Makes sense, right? Now, to do nice panning shots in terms of the, the shot being slow, and what the heck is that? Is that a banana peel right there? 
Oh my gosh, Team Fortress 2, you're so funny. Alright, whatever, get back there. Oh, by the way, you can go up and down as well. This, uh, by default, the keys are right slash, like, just regular slash, and uh, apostrophe. Like, up and down. They're near the, sh the right shift and, and the enter key, so go up and down. So, okay, so now, now that we have this shot established, we, we want to go, I don't know, over here, and then then pan left. We'll make sure we, we go slowly. We'll make sure we'll pan slowly. Yeah. So, SV underscore spectator speed. 0 0.05. So now let's go slowly. What I'd like to do is set to zero, so set to 3.0, 3.0.5, 3.05. Uh, 3 so then I'm at this speed, and I can just quickly switch back, you know, by clicking console command, up, up, I mean, yeah, the tilde key, up, up, and just whatever. Switch back and forth. So then, like, you don't want to, you don't want to, like, run around the map like this, super slow. Doesn't make sense. you got to switch back and forth, right? Makes sense? <laughs> uh, anyways, here we are. And we'll switch back to the slower field, the slower speed. And now we'll just hold down A and W, and click the bu whatever button you have to set for your keybinds to record. And so you have this nice pan shot. It goes across. It looks nice. And yeah, when you believe that you've you've had enough footage, you just stop panning and click the button, and you'll know you'll stop recording. And that's how I get a nice panning shot, for example. So you could do a panning shot like this, or uh, switch back to faster speed. Not what I meant to do. Whoops. Come on. There we go. Let's say you want something like over here. Um, I guess it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll not do the set angle thing. Also, I think the train's coming. Yeah. Let's go over here then instead. How about a shot like this? Just same same sort of practice, same sort of thing. Switch back to slow speed, and then, yeah, that's the bug. There are new Team Fortress 2 and your weird bugs. Point forward, hold down W, just go forward. That's really slow speed. And you get a nice panning shot. Ideally, you would click the button, whatever keybind you use to, to start recording, and just record a nice shot like this. And then you say, hey, that's enough footage of this one this one shot, and stop. And you stop. Let's say you want to not get some like footage like this. You want to get something different. You want to get, I don't know, a person playing, playing or something. So we'll, we'll dive into that momentarily. What else is there to do? Um, I guess... Um, CL draw HUD, zero, one, back to zero, back to one, so I can actually do stuff. I'll be a person. I am now a person in Team Fortress 2. Oh, note, note how like it says waiting for players at the top. You could just skip, skip that. Skip that with MP um, restart game one multiplayer restart game one. So it just it just sets it just starts the game the round basically. Well, it restarts to a round rather than the waiting for players to join period. Anyways, forget about that though. Let's go back to like the idea of like no HUD. Let's say you wanted something like this. This looks you know fairly all right. You could. Oh, whoa, 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 but you want it to be, you want it to look more like Team Forge 2, right? You want it to look more like regular footage. You'll switch back to maximum field of view, so fav desired 90. All right, so it looks more like regular Team Forge 2. Let's say you don't want the, you want, you don't want the weapon on screen. Here's another handy command: r underscore draw view model zero. And now, I can just shoot fire at nothingness from nowhere, for I am an invisible pyro in the world of invisible pyroness. Does that make any sense? Hmm. Whee! Alright, okay. What? I don't know. <laughs> so there we go. Now you have how to do things in first person as well as third person. So, it always bugs me to have, you know, the the, the, the view model off. I always forget to switch it back on because it, it rem Team Fortress 2 remembers between you starting up the, the game again, I think. For that one command in particular. I wonder if the jump from here to there is possible. Probably not. <laughs> uh, nope. Alright. So let's move on. I've done enough here. We'll show, because you know, I, I pretty, pretty much showed third person and first person to a degree. Let's say you want something different. You can't use all these commands, because a lot of them are like, um, behind, like you can't disable the HUD, for example. It's behind cheats. You can't do that in regular multiplayer. What the, what? Team Force 2, why are you so buggy like this? Weird. Anyways, find game, community server. Uh, I, I put down vanilla, I searched earlier, there's only two servers, YOLO this one, I suppose. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this one's not even vanilla, it's just, it just says vanilla, it's, it's a lie. But we'll go forth, we just gotta get, we just, I'm just gonna show something else off, you know, in terms of recording footage in Team Fortress 2. So come on, load! Loading, 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 alright, here we go. Yeah, this is not, this, this is not vanilla, they're robots, everyone's an engineer, and there are spies as well, interesting. So let's see. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Alright. 
So let's say you wanted some footage of something. Let's say of this engine you're doing stuff, doing this thing. Wait, no, no, no. Someone, okay. Oh, the other the team's just anybody. Interesting. What a weird game mode. Huh. What's this weird mod game mode server? Weird. And it's just called a Dust Bowl server. Interesting. Forget about it, though. So here we are. These bots? Why do they have no cos- This guy's- Oh, no, they do have cosmetics. Interesting. Forget about it. Okay, let's say, um... This guy. You want his footage of this. So you start... What you do here... If you, Let's say you want footage of this guy, but without the HUD. So you'd start a demo. Record! Under uh, space. Then, I don't know, test one. Now it starts recording. So let's say you're doing like this. You're like, oh, right. This guy's doing like this. He's doing his moves. He's going here. You, you slowly pan the camera as you move your mouse. Because it's going to rem remember all this. You're right. Do, 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 do. All right, dumb man, you do, you're awesome. You're doing your thing. You're spamming out here. Great. Awesome job. Oh, yeah. And then you go like, the, I don't know, I'm patting the camera for dramatic effect. All right, so that makes sense. That's good. That's great. We have our footage we needed. We're done. Stop. Literally, the command is stop. So we have that, that footage of that. Um, so that's how you get third-person footage, for example. And I'm going to dive into the whole demo thing in a moment. Like, how to get that footage, because it's not actually footage yet, right? Like, you never recorded it. I recorded it. But in a different sense, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Isn't English a fun language? Any does the word sense in two different never mind. Forget about it. So anyways, was is this feels like something else I'm missing, like a third way of doing things. Um Oh yeah, the first person sort of thing. Yes, 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 yes. You you could do the same what I just no What I just did, you could do the same thing in first person. So you just go, alright. Click to start a demo again, blah, 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 test two, whatever. Let it go, watch this guy just just play Team Fortress 2. This engineer build a century right here. He's doing his thing. Interestingly, I'm pretty sure it's the bot, because only bots can stand inside their sentry guns. Humans can't do this. This is a hu- this is not a human, this is a bot. Oh my god. The conspiracy thickens. Forget about it, though. Anyway, so you get your footage, you click stop, and you're good. Let's get out of here. Let's leave that place forever. Not forever, though. Alright, so next step, now that we've co recorded this footage, in quotations recorded, well, we, we made a demo file of it, we'll go to demo, um, demo UI 2, it's the easiest, best one, there's also demo UI 1, but whatever, click load, this is going to take a long time because I have a lot of files, <laughs> and this is on S and like an SSD as well, anyways, that took a moment, uh, what was it called again, test 1, wait, hello? What? Why is nothing appearing? Test one? Load? That's weird. Team Fortress 2 is weird sometimes. Alright, here we are. Okay. So I'll pause it. So in this situation, what you could do is, you know, the same sort of things. Now that we're no longer online, you could use the, the awesome commands such as CL draw HUD zero. And now there's no HUD, which is great. You know, makes it more cinematic looking and stuff like that. Then we can also switch to field of view. But in terms of a demo, since this is a demo recording, we could even go beyond. We can push it further beyond. Think of like uh, Goku going to Super Saiyan 3, man. Further beyond. The maximum limits of your of your own power. Does that make sense? Well, I don't know what I'm saying, man. Demo underscore. I, I think it's that. Yeah, demo fob override. And we'll set it to, because you know, the lowest is 75, right? So we'll set it to 40. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Cinematic times 20. Oh my god. Get ready for cinematicness. Anyways, so now you cl you click you start to click the you click the button now to record. You know whatever your keybind is, and then you click resume, I click X, and you're recording. And then we watch as as things happen. Now Team Fortress 2 has a built-in feature to record demos, but it's garbage. It's pretty sucky. It's low quality. I don't use it. it. It basically, if your computer really sucks though, and you can't really record like I'm doing right now, you I guess you'd use it hypothetically. Cause it's not it's not it's not that bad and it sort of like goes frame by frame so it doesn't so you could set team force suits like the maximum settings anyways we're done we've done did that it, it it went you'd probably click stop recording now if you were recording or alternatively you could just open up the the the, 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 the demo whatever thing again demo ui2 and you could have clicked pause because the play button because pop becomes a pause button and that's pretty much how I get my footage in Team Fortress 2. Hopefully this, this long rant of funniness and awesomeness and stuff like that. It's interesting, and I probably should switch that one command back. The override thing. Team Fortress, this is one of the commands where Team Fortress 2 remembers it. <laughs> Between starting up the, the so I'll start up the, the game of Team Fortress 2 and I'll want footage again like uh, two weeks from now and I'll be like, wait, what the heck? Oh, the field of view set to 40 in this demo. Darn, you demo. And yeah.
So I've changed it back. That's pretty much all I can think about. You know, be creative when it comes to panning shots. Think of think to yourself, what would be interesting? You know, go to servers. What sucks in Team Forge 2 is casual mode. In, in terms of getting footage and, and stuff. Casual mode, as seen here on screen. Because you can't go into spectator mode like I've done for the... the so that's why I went to community server, for example, so I could spectate that demo, for example. Hmm. Makes sense? Um, what kind of sucks is recording a demo in first person and just playing Team Fortress 2. The reason being is that, is that the little bit of amount of lag you get, it like... Oh my god, why is Team Fortress 2 like this? Where thing, where UI elements just stay on screen a little bit. That's so weird. That demo thing is here, but it's not actually there. It's invisible. It's, it's not invisible. It's visible. That's why. It's weird. Never mind. What was I getting at? Yes. If you're recording in first person and you're just playing Team Fortress 2 and you're using a demo file, you're making a demo, you're playing, the lag... It's like times is times 50. Just just imagine the lag you have, the small amounts of lag, the interpretation, it, it occurs and stuff like that, it's all good. While playing Team Force 2, while looking back at a demo, it is just jaggedy. You gotta be on a server that you get like a ping of zero on, man. If you wanna like record Team Force 2 with demos and play play Team Force 2 out. Alternatively, I think there are some, some commands to smoothen out a little bit, like interpretation, like uh... Yeah. But forget about that for now. Um... Like I said, be creative. Panning shots could be forward, backwards, up, down, left, right. You could click left, right at the same time. No, I mean left, up, for left, forward at the same time or something like I did in the first shot on Banana Bay. You could click like up and down like how I showed. You could actually move physically up and down with the keys next to enter and, and, and the right shift. And I think that's about it that I have to cover. I think I went through every single console command that's noteworthy and important when it comes to recording Team Fortress 2 footage. Yeah, well, you could also, you know, <laughs> no one does this as far as I'm concerned. Because it's a, it's an abandoned feature of Team Fortress 2 that, let's say, it doesn't exist anymore. You know, demos. Not demos. Uh, recordings. Not recordings. What is it called, even? You know, to be coached, worshipped up, replays. That's it. Yes, the replay feature in Team Fortress 2. It's an alternative. You could use it. It's really, like, let's say, not functional. <laughs> it's abandoned by Valve. It's so sad. And it was a cool feature, too. But, you know, what are you going to do? If you have a, a, a recording and it still works, because recordings are not like demos. They After time, after a Team Fortress updates, they somehow, they sometimes just don't work. They, they cease existence. They don't get deleted. I mean, they just function poorly and don't launch to some degree sometimes. What I'm saying is, replay suck. Okay? Replay suck. That's why I'm not even covering this video. Anyways, that's Team Fortress 2. Hopefully one day Valve will allow spectating casual in casual mode so it becomes way easier to record Team Fortress 2 footage. Um, I think that's all there is to cover. Anyways, thanks for watching. Au revoir.